everyone, I am Shekaina Akina Maranga and today I am going to perform perineal flushing return demonstration. Perineal flushing involves cleaning the private areas of a patient, the perineum, and the genitalia. This is done for the purpose of removing perineal secretions and odors, prevention of infection and contamination, and to promote client comfort. Now, perineal flushing is indicated for patients who are in labor and in postpartum, for um, patients who has a perineal repair, for comatose patients, bedridden patients, and for those who has an indwelling catheter. Now, prior to the conduct of the procedure, I have prepared the necessary equipments to be used to conserve time and energy. This includes a bedpan, a kidney basin, seven pieces of cotton ball soaked in a cleansing solution, seven pieces of dry cotton balls, I have my sterile forceps, I also have my working gloves, um, I have my perineal pad, my um, pitcher with warm water, and a new set of clean underwear. Now I also have performed hand washing to protect my patient and myself as well from infection and cross-contamination. Now I am going to introduce myself to my patient, verify my patient's identity, and explain the procedure to my patient to gain her consent and um, gain her full cooperation. Good morning, ma'am. I am Shikaina Maranga, and I'll be your student nurse today. Uh, may I see your wristband, ma'am? Please state your complete name. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Um, so today, ma'am, we'll be doing the perineal flushing. So basically, I'm just going to um, wash your genital area so that you will feel more comfortable and refreshed. Will that be alright? Okay, great. So before we begin, I'm just going to close the door so that no one from outside will be able to disturb us while we're doing the uh, perineal flushing. Okay? Okay. Now close the door to ensure patient's privacy. After doing so, place the patient in a dorsal recumbent position. This provides a good visualization of the area to be cleansed. Okay, ma'am, um, I need you to uh, flex, your knee, flex your knees. Okay, and um, I, I need you to lift your buttocks so that I can place a bedpan underneath, okay? So, I'm going to help you lift your buttocks in a count of three. One, two, three. Okay. After doing that, I am going to wear my working gloves and then start with cleaning the uh, perineal area of my patient. Okay, ma'am, so now I am going to um, expose your uh, genital area. Expose only the area to be cleansed so as to help the patient avoid um, having chills and from getting embarrassed. After doing that, I am going to flush a warm water over my patient's perineal area. Okay, ma'am, I am now going to pour a warm water over your uh, perineal area. Okay, so as I was doing that, I'm also inspecting the perineal area of my patient, noting for any particular areas of a swelling, inflammation, excessive discharge, um, discharge secretions from the orifice, and presence of odors. Also, I am using a warm water um, because warm water will soften and dissolve blood clots if there are any and also to prevent the patient from having chills. Now I am going to proceed with cleaning the perineum. 
are cleaning my patient's genitalia, I am going to place my kidney paste in here. This is where I am going to discard uh, the used cotton balls. Using my sterile pickup forceps, I am going to uh, pick up a cotton ball and then start cleaning the uh, genitalia of my patient, starting uh, midline from the symphysis pubis down to the anus. Okay, ma'am, I'll begin. Okay. And then discard the cotton ball. I am going to pick another one, another cotton ball, and start cleaning the labia majora um, from the farther side and um, start at the mons pubis down to the anus by way of figure seven. Okay. And then discard. It is important to remember that as we do this, whenever we retrace a stroke, so as to prevent contaminating the already cleansed area. I am going to pick another cotton ball and then use it to clean the uh, labia majora of the opposite side. Okay, and then discard. Another cotton ball. I am going to use it to clean the labia minora starting from the farther side from me and then starting from the mons pubis by way of figure 7 down to the anus. Next, I am going to pick up another one and then do the same on the other side. Okay, after doing that, I'm going to clean the groin area of my patient. Okay discard and then do the same on the other side and then discard after doing that I am going to flush my patient's um, genital area with warm water okay ma'am I am going to pour again warm water over your perineal area Okay, after doing that, I am going to dry my patient's um, genital area using dry cotton balls. So to do that, I'm going to pick up a cotton ball. I am going to do uh, the same strokes I used for cleaning the genitalia. So I'm going to begin in the midline from the symphysis pubis down to the anus. Okay, discard the cotton ball. Next, I'm going to pick another cotton ball and then clean the labia majora by way of figure 7 down to the anus and then discard the cotton ball. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Then another cotton ball for the labia minora. And then another cotton ball for the other side. Okay. And then I'm going to dry the groin area. Okay, discard. Another cotton ball for the other side. The groin area still. And then discard the cotton ball. After doing that, I am going to... Um, take the bedpan off of my patient's buttocks. Okay, ma'am. So, I am going to help you lift your buttocks again so that I can um, take off that bedpan beneath. Okay? One, two, three. And... Okay. Now, after doing that, I am going to uh, turn my patient to her right side so that I can also dry her uh, butt cheeks. Okay, ma'am. So, I need you um, to turn to your right side so that I can dry um, your butt cheeks. Okay? I'm going to use another cotton ball. 
Okay. And another one. And then this card. Okay, ma'am, you can uh, lie down on your back again. Okay. Like that. And now, uh, since we're done, I am going to um, place a perennial pad on your underwear and then let you wear it, okay? Now, we can also spray an antiseptic as needed. And now I am going to place a um, perineal pad on my patient's um, underwear. Perineal pads absorb blood and discharges from the vagina. Okay. I am going to uh, place the perineal pad in an up-down motion. Take off the sticker. Okay. Okay. Now that I'm done doing this, I am going to let my patient wear her underwear. Okay, ma'am, so now we can wear your underwear. Okay? Okay, so ma'am, now that we're done doing your perennial flushing, how do you feel? Um, are you uh, much comfortable and are you feeling refreshed? That's good to hear, ma'am. So, um, since we're done, I'm going to leave you now. Since we're done, I am going to leave you now and let you have some rest. Okay, so if you need anything, do not hesitate to use the call button so that I can go back here and attend to your need. So, um, thank you very much. After doing the procedure, I'm now going to proceed to the aftercare of the equipments that I used and then document the uh, procedure that I had just done.